In our prior tutorial, we have learned how to use Billboard GUIs to add tags over objects inside our games. Let's now learn how to add a VIP tag over VIP players in our game. To start, the steps are exactly the same as the steps in our prior tutorial on how to add a tag over an object. So basically, we're going to start with an object and then we're going to add a Billboard GUI over it, rename it to Instead of kill tag, we're going to rename this billboard GUI to VIP tag. And then we added a text label to the uh, billboard GUI, change the always on top property to true, the max distance to 80, billboard size to 2,0,1,0. I'm going to make that size a little larger now. So instead of 2,0,1,0, I'm going to change this to 4 comma, zero, comma, two, comma, zero. That's gonna make the tag a little larger. We change the Y component of the stud offset to two, and we resize the text label to fit into the billboard GUI by changing the size of the text label to one, comma, zero, comma, one, comma, zero. We change the background transparency of the text label to one, text color to white, and we're gonna change the text of our text label instead of kill brick, we're gonna change it to VIP tag or VIP. Set text scale to true, text stroke color to yellow, text stroke transparency to zero. And that's going to make our label visible over any background, dark background and light background. So that was just a quick review of how to create the uh, billboard GUI with the text label in it. If you want more details, just refer to our prior tutorial for more details. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to move this to our service storage. So we're going to select the billboard GUI. We're going to go to the parent property. And here, instead of the parent is the kill brick, I'm going to click on this and I'm going to go and select service storage. So we're placing it inside the service storage. There is our VIP tag inside the service storage. We can now go ahead and delete this part. We no longer need this part. And now we're going to go to the service script service. We're going to add a script. Our script is going to put that tag over our VIP players. In this case, I'm just going to make myself a VIP player. So in your script, just enter the following lines. On the first line here, I'm declaring my VIP tag inside the service storage. Next line here is my user ID. Again, to get the user ID, you can just play test and go to your player service, look for your player, select your player. In the properties window, look for user ID, just copy this number here. And then you can stop this here and go back to the script and just paste it in. So that is your user ID. This script is going to make you the VIP of the game. Next here, we have a player added event followed by a character added event. For more information on player added event and character added event, you can refer to our prior tutorials. Once I got the character that is spawning into the game, I'm waiting for the character's head to be ready. Once the head is found, I'm checking the player user ID. If it's my own player user ID up here, then I'm going to place the tag, the VIP tag over the head of the player. To do that, I must get the humanoid of the character because with the humanoid of the character, I can set this property display distance type to none and it's not going to display my name over my character because now I'm going to have a VIP tag over my character. If I don't turn this off, then I'm going to have both. I'm going to have a name tag. It's going to say price counter puncher and the VIP tag overlapping each other. On the next line here, we're making a copy of our VIP tag from the service storage. And then we set the parent to the head of my character. That's going to place the tag over the head of my character. And that is all there is to it. Down here are just the code for inserting the leaderboard. So if you want, you can insert this code here, these four lines to create the leaderboard. Otherwise, you don't need it. Let's see if this is going to work. We're going to play test and take a look. And there it is. You see, now we have the VIP tag. And if I'm far enough from the player, 
the tech disappears. So remember we set the max distance to 80 and that's what makes it disappear. Now if I go closer to the player, I can see the VIP tag again. Next, how about we change the script? Instead of adding the tag to the VIP player, we're gonna add a name tag to all players. So now we no longer need the VIP player. And this one, I'm gonna leave it as VIP tag, but you can rename it to name tag if you like. If you rename it, you gotta rename this, this, and this one from inside the service storage. For now, I'm just gonna leave it as VIP tag, but we're gonna put a name tag on all players. So we still gonna have the player added, character added. We're still gonna check for the head of the player, but we no longer need to check the user ID of the VIP player, because now every player is VIP. Once the head is there, we're gonna to go to the humanoid property of the character and we're gonna remove that name over the character by setting the display distance type to none. Here we're cloning the tag from inside our service storage and we place it on top of the player's head. Again, this part here is for the um, leaderboard. If you don't need a leaderboard, you can remove those code. Otherwise, that is the code for your leaderboard. And one more thing we want to do here is we want to display the name of the player. So we're going to insert this line. We're changing the text label text to the player name. And now let's play test and take a look. And there it is. As you can see, I have joined the game and it's showing price count to puncher over my character. And now if we play test with two players on Roblox, You can see I have joined the game, I'm Price Counter Puncher, and Teskill has also joined me, and you can see his name tag over his head. For more information on Surface GUI and text labels, you can come to our channel PriceCP Roblox, scroll down to the section where it says How To Series, click on View All, and search for a playlist called Roblox User Interfaces. Click on View Full Playlist. In this playlist, you will find information about text labels, surface GUIs, and much more. Guys, that is how you place name tags over players inside your games. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you again in our next tutorial. Take care, everyone. Peace.